that you can understand you can see it and help the wife my husband has a medical issue that is forcing him to behave like this we are trusting god for healing that is something you understand but something that say you just talk to me badly you just did not pay the bills the way we agreed uh you called me donkey <laughs> <laughs> and you, you 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 called me rat and you expect me to sleep with you yeah, ladies and gentlemen yeah. <laughs> we talk about this and we tell don't do that but when it comes to law when it comes to law and duty you are supposed to to fulfill your duty other things will come later other things will come later so when sex comes as the part of the duty whether you are feeling it or you're not feeling it you, you are not supposed to deny your knife your, your husband or your wife access to your body you are not supposed to do that why you do it you are committing a spiritual crime it is called by the bible defraud it is punishable. and it's punishable yes. it's a crime yes. punishable yes. by god yes. So you can, this itself can either you access to God because you are committing a crime. And the Bible says, do not, have you heard that? Do not deprive one another. Do not defraud. I like King James, yeah. one another. Yeah. Defraud is a crime. Mm -hmm. Do not defraud. Not unless you have a consent to have a stain. And say, now, we are not going to do this for a while. We want to pray and then say, God, and we must agree. Don't assume that the other one will take by. It's just something you discuss and agree. Agreement must be realized on the table. And that's why gentleness is required there. Agreement. There are those who can say, now, we agree, let, but let us do it now. So, from there now, because I expected this will happen, but let us now continue later. Now we continue from there. Or it's okay. Let us do this now. And you agree. There must be something called consent consent mm -hmm. and must be mutual the two of you have agreed we are not going to have this for that we can do this so i want you to understand now mm -hmm. whoever denies his, uh, his spouse access to the body is breaking the commandments of god and that is where now God is involved. It's a duty. I found myself and I, I said I will marry this man. And I am married to this man. I'm married to this woman. It's my duty, responsibility to avail myself. My husband should not beg me for my body. For the body of the wife does not belong to the wife. Yeah. Belongs to the husband. Who is saying this? God. For the body of the husband does not belong to the wife. But belongs to the the husband, the body of the husband doesn't belong to the husband, it belongs to the wife. So the husband is just a custodian of that body. Mm -hmm. He's a manager. He is given that body. It has been delegated to him by God to manage on behalf of the wife. So the body is not yours. That's why it's punishable for you to commit an time because that body is not yours. Yeah. And God will punish it because you are, you are trading on somebody's body. So you are not allowed. That body belongs. The Bible does not say, and the soul of the wife belongs to the husband. <laughs> Please note these things very well. The Bible does not say, and the spirit of the wife. Please take your spirit whatever you want to take. Take your soul whatever you want to take. But the body it's not true. is not yours. Mm. The body belongs to your spouse. The body belongs to your spouse. So, who is tired? Sometimes the one who is, is not feeling like doing it is the hand. So once you, you, you tell your mind, this is the duty to my husband. This is duty to my wife. Even if there is something discouraging you, you overcome it. And that is why we said yesterday, and we gave you an example with ourselves. We came into agreement as a couple. It doesn't matter what you have gone through. It doesn't matter what we have gone through or we have faced. If you need me, never hesitate to tell me. Don't give yourself any reason that I may not. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you want because this body is yours. Even if we have had a disagreement, 
Even if something has not worked the way we went, then tell me, I need you. That changes the weather. Because why? Because it's duty to God. If the wife you will take sex as duty, and you are not, it's a duty to my husband. And this, in return, it turns to doing the will of God and the word of God. And it's a Christian. And non-Christian does not understand this. Mm. It is not written in the natural law. This is not in the natural law. This is in the word of God. So if you are a Christian, your body does not belong to you. It belongs to your husband if you are married. Your body does not belong to you. It belongs to your wife as a man. So it's your duty mm. to avail this body as often as is needed. If you want to keep it away, consent. There must be agreement. So you tell each other, you have my body, you know, yeah. Uh, we need to agree this time now. Mm. We keep our child. I will not come for mine. Don't come for yours. This duration. Let's pray. Let's seek God. And then the Bible says, quickly, don't extend. Mm -hmm. Come together. Come together because the enemy only like to tempt you for the lack of your self-control. So now this is normal in a normal circumstances. Mm -hmm. And this is in a normal way of doing it. Now we have come also to abnormal things. Like the way my wife was putting it. In this abnormal means is the husband or the wife, one of them, is medically challenged. Yeah. You have to pray for the other person. Amen. And this is the time this person needs your understanding. Amen. And what is happening at this time is your love that is being tried. Yeah, it's your faithfulness yeah. that is being tried. You are in a trial. And fight until you win this competition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, if it is the wife or the husband, you have no reason to go and cheat if you are a gentleman because your wife is not feeling good. Mm -hmm. That's very unfair. That is very unfair and shows immature of you and it shows that you are not a good person. You have failed the test. The same way, if your husband is going through a trial, going through challenges, it's you who is being tested, not the sick. It is the one who is not sick that's being tested. Yeah, yeah. They are self-control. And the devil will try to mess up with their self-control. What are you supposed to do at this time? Stand with the other person. Stand with the other person. Pray for the other person. Now, there are some women now who say, I am frustrated. Because my husband is not giving me what I want. Maybe every time he comes, two minutes or less, He's finishing his work and he gets me present. So I lack the interest of doing that. Remember, there is a duty for it also. So you remember there is also a duty for that. But man, mm. also don't be satisfied to frustrate your wife. Because if you love her, you would not like to keep frustrating her. You would like to satisfy her needs also mm. that she will have pleasure and other needs. So sex is not limited to duty. That's why we talked other things. Pleasure is there. Comfort is there healing? Is there that intimacy? Is there knowledge? Is there reproduction? Is there? And you will meet yourself now. We will rather have sex for other, other four, other, other, other six, more than reproduction and more than duty. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you are getting this. This rule, reproduction, if you don't want, need a child, that does not apply to you. Mm -hmm. You finished. Now duty, duty comes, you are called upon the duty. This is my duty when you are at the extreme. I don't know if you are getting this. When you are at the extreme, there is no grace. It's now the law applying. Why is the law applied? There is no grace. Mm. So the grace is ceasing now in this marriage. And therefore, we come to the level of having the, 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 the relationship because there is... No, any other thing. That's why you remember, this is a duty. So duty, which you realize it's a duty to you, and you don't want to defraud. You, want to, you don't want to commit a criminal offense. <laughs> you want to be innocent before God. You reveal yourself, whether you're tired or not. See, my dear, I am tired. I need you to assist me. Even you are the one saying, 
Because I cannot fail you. Say, no, let me relieve you. You are tired. Let, let us go. No. Mm -mm. I am the one tired. You are not tired. And you have the right. Mm. You have the right to have me. So let us do this. And that pleasure will come. Healing will come. Because you understood this is my duty. The people who have the grace to understand their duty, they are not forced by the law. Yeah. They are not forced by the law to come to the place of where they are supposed to do. Now, sometimes we, want, we like to give you guidelines so that it will help you in this area of duty. Number one, the things you don't need to do as a married spouse, you are not supposed to complain or mama or be sarcastic about the things that the other person wants mm -hmm. or release sharp or cutting ones to try to show the other, you are as greedy as this. Is this you and this desire of yours? Is this you and this thing? You never get it. Am I migrating? Am I moving? Those things are not supposed to be done. Yeah. I'm here. Tomorrow is, is a day also. Those things are not supposed to be yeah. there. Yeah. They are not supposed to be there. Don't you get satisfied? Don't you get satisfied from the day you did it? Don't you get satisfied? Those are the things that you are not supposed to say. You are not supposed to murmur. You are supposed to have confidence in your heart. Look at what the Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 2 and verse 14. Chapter 2 and verse 14. Now, you are also supposed to remember that giving your body to your spouse to, or everything that you have, your body, everything that contains in that body, is your spiritual duty as a husband and as a wife. Yeah. So there is nothing that is supposed to be hidden. What does it say? All right. Philippians 2 verse 14 mm. says, Do all things without complaining mm. and disputing. Do all things, yeah. including that, without complaining uh, and disputing. disputing. So there's people who are disputing about their love, life. And you keep on disputing about it. If you understand this, your spiritual duty to do that, don't dispute. That's where disputes are settled. Disputes are settled by understanding this is my responsibility. And you don't argue about your responsibility. You don't argue about your duty. That's true. There is no argument about that. So this is something that will be settled in you. Do all things without complaining. Mm. And you are supposed to do this. It is important to establish here that Without your husband being at, uh, in the mood, erecting, having an erection, that's a simple language. It is impossible for you to have sex with him. That's something you need to understand that. And number two, without your wife getting to that mood, mm -hmm. it is not impossible for you, it will be impossible for you also to satisfy her. It will be formality. And you will be making your work to look very difficult. Mm -hmm. So it is also you are don't say, don't come and apply and say, you know you are my wife. And you come and tell your husband, you know you are my husband. And your body is not your body. The Bible says, don't deprive me. So they, they, when you come into that way, then you are destroying everything. There is no relationship. That, that's, that's what many Christians are. And that's what yeah. many are doing. Mm. That's why we, we have the language. Let her be to. Don't you remember that you are somebody's wife? Don't you know you are married, my friend? Am I supposed to be reminding you? Am I supposed to be reminding you? That's your duty. Uh. You know that's, that's not supposed to be done. That is something you must be in love. <laughs> so you are supposed to bring the man into that mood by your love. You are supposed to bring that woman into that mood by the love. So you are not supposed to come and say, this is my duty. This is my responsibility. You are supposed to do this. Mm -mm. And this will not happen in the marriage. Or just touch the other person. You say, what are you doing? Are you a child? Don't you understand? <laughs> so these are uh, things are happening in yeah, marriage. Yeah, yeah, in and the people life. are not understanding because mm -hmm. now this is my duty. You understand that? There's a one young man who came with the, the wife <laughs> in my office. And the wife asked him in my presence, asked, have you told dad? 
that we have been complaining about our intimacy. I'm not comfortable. I'm not satisfied. I told you to tell him, but now if you're not sure, we can share in this session. And the man is like, God stopped a bit, but he gathered his strength because he must be a man anyway. And then the lady says, I have a problem with him. He's a good man. He does this, everything. But I have one problem. Sometimes he can come. From work, he's tired. I have done MBCD to make him feel good. And he can come and uh, I'm waiting. I'm ready for him. And then he sleeps. When he sleeps, I ask him, what's the problem? Say, I'm tired. And sometimes he can't sleep. Say, it's okay. I am disconnected. I'm out of the mood. Then all of a sudden, I feel a person on top of me. Before I ask him, what are you doing? Or a bit connected with what he is doing, he has finished. And then he goes back. And I look at him, within a short time, he is sleeping, deep sleep. <laughs> so I am left wondering, what kind of a person is this? Is this? Mm. And then not once, not twice, it has become a routine, a routine of our marriage. It's a lifestyle. And I'm not happy at all. So please, can you talk to us? Can you advise us? And this is the time now, we remind this man. Oh, oh. And the man was saying, I cannot be suffering. And you are my wife. It's okay. Nobody disputing that. This is your wife. This is your husband. But there is a right way to approach, to approach this person. Because you know. Also, it's duty. It's something that is supposed to bring that joy, fulfillment. that fulfillment together. So you have to bring the husband into that connection. And you know how to do it as the wife. Mm -hmm. Show him what he needs to see. Tell him what he needs to, to hear. Yeah. Show them, the, the husband, what he needs to see. Tell him what he needs to hear from you. The same way, tell your wife what she needs to hear. Show her what she needs to see. Showing may not work for the woman as much as it works for, no. for the man. Yeah. But speak. See what you want. And then finally you will be able to bring the, this uh, 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 life together. So be willing. That's what we are telling couples. When the other shows the sign and interest, don't put resistance. Don't put that, I, it's, it's not time for it, it's not time for this. You have us that. Remember, it's your duty to. So that is what is supposed to open doors. Understand, this person is free to take me where I want to be. Because furthermore, this body is not mine. It's, 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 this is us. And you are able now to move. So that is where now you will humble yourself. And then respond. Humble. Humility is what makes you accept that this is what is right and this should be done. Whether it is costing me or not. This is what is right and accept it. So you will accept and willingly and uh, you will be pleased also if it is to undress you undress before this person. Don't resist or if you want to undress you or she wants to undress you, accept it. Accept it knowing this is the duty. There are some people who have fought because of that. Mm -hmm. They attempted to touch the other person and then fighting began. You don't have understanding always. Mm -mm. Please, we say, understand this. Now, play your role well as a man. Mm -hmm. Play your role well as the woman. That means become romantic to this person. Mm -hmm. Become romantic. Become nice to this person. And when you become nice to this person, you go to the level of hugging, kissing, all those romantic things. This person will change. The moon will immediately begin to change. And you will be able to be there. Then, you must uh, allow yourself to be involved in what is happening. Mm -hmm. There are some people who allow, say, I allow him to have his way because finally, uh, furthermore, is his body. It means you are also failing because you understand. You will not, uh, you, you not be paid for that loss. Because it was also your opportunity to enjoy and feel good. But you will not feel it because you are so proud that you held to your, to your own to your own stand that you are not able. So you will now begin to have 
uh, sex with him like a dead person. That's where my wife was saying, you say, when you finish, tell me. Or like this man who has just come and finished. And then the wife, before he asks, what is happening? The man does not talk. And the wife is just shocked. And within five minutes, this man is deep in her sleep, in his sleep. And the wife is got left wondering and frustrated. Do it tomorrow. Do it another day. It will cause sickness to this person. You are not becoming a good person that you promised. So it is not one way. It's not, not one part. It is something that you are supposed to understand as a person. So begin to help this person as a woman. Help your husband. As a man also, help your wife. Don't make remarks also. Describing her mm -hmm. like she is greedy, she is something like that and making remarks of the body ah your body is too huge that stomach is too huge this and you're making fun about the body this will write her off she will not like to be with you you are supposed to speak truth in love and that is the way to be built together Ephesians 4 15 speak truth in love mm -hmm. and this is where you are going to be built together and when you are built together that is where you are going to be now so according to ephesians 5 28 so ought men to love their wives as their own bodies he that loveth his wife loveth himself mm -hmm. so would you like to be a bush like that would you like something to be done like that you left unsatisfied what if your wife leaves you when you are almost at a point at the point of climax and she leaves you what will you say? What will you say? Now, why should you leave her? When she is at that point, why should you do that? That means you, don't, you are not concerned about her. You should be concerned more about her and about her feelings and her well-being. Mm. So you are supposed to be nice to your wife. You are supposed to be considerate. You are supposed to speak loving ones. You are supposed to speak affirming ones. You are supposed to speak nice ones to this person that will connect her to you. Nice phone communication. Nice, nice text messages, even when you are away. This will put the wife uh, into that expectation that she is expecting you. And when you tell her the good things that you think about her, this will be something nice. Show her you have been thinking about her. Tell her what you do to her, even when you get to her, when you are away. She will be prepared for you. Her heart will be there with you, and you will not have just to use this. So, men, I want you to understand, don't be hurry to have sex with your wife. Don't hurry to have sex with your wife. She may want affection first. And be fulfilled with affection. Mm -hmm. Then after once, she will be in that spirit now she wants. She wants sex. And but don't just jump to this person. We say the women are like eater. You put eater, it heats slowly, but it becomes red hot. Mm -hmm. Even when you put off the switch, <clears throat> it will continue retaining that retaining heart. that heat. Yeah. But the man is like a bab. Poo. When you put on the switch, bulb, sh, um, lights. Mm -hmm. When you put off the switch, bulb goes off. So you are supposed to be there to prepare her until she feels she is ready. Mm -hmm. If you can do that, it is you. <laughs> there is what we say, they say law, yeah. burden of proof. Burden of proof can shift during the hearing. Now, it's, it is not you who is trying to prove. It's the other one. It's, the burden moves out of you. So when you are able to do the, the, the right things to the woman, I want to tell you, the burden comes to your side now. Mm -hmm. Because she will say, we are, I am ready now. Anywhere we want us to go, we can go. It is you who will say, please, I am sorry. Let it end there. 
because already you have given her everything she needed in her mind. I want to tell you, it is you who will surrender, not her. And that is where many men are now. The burden of proof has been shifted. That who needs who more than who? It has now gone to the woman is the one who needs, not you. And proof. Because some have left the woman. And some women have said, I need to be excited. I want to be happy. Even they have helped you. Even they, have not, they are not waiting for you to try and do too much. They have helped you with their understanding and with their knowledge. Mm -hmm. That they need you. They need to be happy. They need to be excited. And all this. And some are free now. They need the, the women who are now free with rearing children. They are free. They are not disturbed the way you used to be disturbed by children. They tell it. Now, you are the one now to prove yourself. You are the one now to come on. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, let us as believers stop hiding ourselves in our scripture in a wrong way. Mm -hmm. We understand and I have told you it's the duty. Understand that it's a duty. It's a duty and it's written and it's supposed to be done like that. But understand, don't hide in that alone. Because there are other things. Don't just use one way of doing something which has yeah. so many ways mm -hmm. and so many reasons. Mm -hmm. So don't use that one way. So you are supposed to be available and avail yourself to the other person and show that interest. And the man understand it is the responsibility you have and it should be on your shoulders to uh, fulfill or to sexually satisfy your wife. If you are not doing it, you are failing. No matter what kind of excuse you use. I remember, uh, some time back, even we are not married at that time, but we are still doing counseling. A young woman approaches us mm -hmm. and says, we knew them because I am the one who had preached to the husband to get born again. And we knew everyone, the wife of the husband. And she comes and tells us, my husband has become something else. We are not agreeing in anything. We are quarreling. And she gave us examples, which looked very terrible to us. I can wash my, the husband's clothes, and the husband can come and take them from the clothesline and wash them again afresh in my sight. That's an insult to the woman. Yeah, I'm I'm a big one. And then, why are you doing this? He says, you are no longer cleaning my clothes well. So the woman feels, since when? <laughs> and things were not right at all. At all. It's like the woman has served food and you leave it and you go to the kitchen to cook yours. Something that's abuse to her. And she feels she is not part of you. You have rejected her. You have rejected everything. Mm. So the woman felt she is under pressure. She came and said, we need help. Because I was not their pastor, I, I talked to their pastor. Their pastor is my son also. I told him what is happening. Mm. And then I told him, you will accompany me to go to talk to that couple. And also, she was around. In fact, she is the one who was told by the lady. The lady would not tell me. So we, we agreed we are going. We are not yet married. She is uh, engaged to me, but we are not married. So we walked and we went there. And when we went there, uh, they cooked food for us. They did very good welcome. So it came time to discuss. Husband, wife, hi, and pastor. And my fiancé then. And we start now talking. Mm -hmm. And then the woman repeats all those things the man has been doing. And I ask, man, what about you, man? The man says, uh, she told me, even to the, we, to, we went to the farm and she left me one day and she told me it's not our calling, it's not this. And there was a lot of things. And so I said, it's okay. So I said, now you have spoken and you've spoken well, but you are speaking fruits. You have not spoken about the tree itself that is bearing these fruits. Mm. Then I turned to the woman. Because I had understood by the word of the knowledge what is the problem. I turn to the woman and I tell the woman, now you are the most one oppressed. Can you speak? And affected. You are the one who is mostly affected mm. by this. Can you speak? Then she said, the worst thing here, when this man comes in this house, 
he does not know if there is a woman in this house. For example, he does not touch me and he does not ask me for anything. So when she said that, you know, you know what she said. Then I looked at her. I said, you have said, well, that's a problem. But this is my question. Have you touched him or you have asked him also? Then she covered her mouth. That means she saw that this is not the work of a woman to ask. That's a tradition. That's a tradition. That's bad. <laughs> there is liberty here. The woman can ask for her husband because the body is not his. Mm -hmm. So I started teaching her now these scriptures I'm teaching her. That she has the right when she needs the husband to put him into the spirit that she needs him. That is who we are talking about. In the Hadith language, uh, the, 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 they call it seducing. Yeah. And the Bible allows us to continue wooing. You so you can appear nice until you make him come to that point. So the woman, the man may be struggling, but the woman should not struggle to have the man. The man you have, God has given you and has kept you into the house and has given you the law to protect you. And there are some women who are using the woman power still to get the man who is, who is not theirs. And they have her. They have, they have him on their hands. And they call you foolish. And they call you foolish. <laughs> yeah. So, we told the woman. And the man now, the reason why he was kicking back, gets, not eating food, not, not, not even at recognizing the clothes are clean, so that the wife would not try even to touch him, because he felt he did not have the power. Whereas, why are you doing this? See, I felt I did not have power. And I never wanted her to know that my power is less. So imagine now, transparency is not there.